So my dear friends, for a long time, I've been exploring <clears throat> fundamental reality with you. And the idea that uh, anything perceivable or conceivable is not truth with a capital T. Now, as you know, uh, I'm using digital dharma as a guide. That's my book, next book, to clarify some of my arguments, also see what other people are saying and, and also formulate uh, some arguments with a little backing from others. So let me share with you today's interaction with uh, AI. Uh, so here is uh, my question or prompt. Can you make an argument for me that projected reality or perceptual reality is all, always finite? and ever-changing, but that which projects it is formless, spaceless, timeless, unbounded, and the source of all projected realities in every biological organism, and the projected reality of biological organisms also exists in the biological laboratories in the ecosystem of projected realities. However, the projected realities also include the biological organisms themselves interacting in an ecosystem of projected realities which are and have the which are and have leaky margins so they can also interact in the ecosystem of these projected realities and that game theory is a way to understand this pretty complex right so <clears throat> Here is a very well formulated answer from AI. <clears throat> Projected reality or perceptual reality is a fascinating concept that encompasses the ever changing nature of our perceptions. It is argued that the nature of projected reality is fluid and dynamic, constantly shifting and adapting to our experiences. However, it is important to consider that the essence of what projects this reality is formless, spaceless, timeless, and unbounded. This formless source, often referred to as consciousness or awareness or pure consciousness, is believed to be the underlying foundation of all projected realities in every biological organism. It is the very essence that gives rise to the diverse and unique experiences we perceive. It is through this source that we are able to navigate and interact with our projected realities. In the ecosystem of projected realities, each biological organisms, each biological organism experiences a distinct projected reality. This is due to the individuality and uniqueness of each organism, as well as the specific biological apparatus within which they exist. These biological laboratories, such as our brains and sensory organs, shape and filter the information we receive, influencing our perception of reality. However, it is interesting to note that the projected realities also include the biological organisms themselves. This was my prompt. As they are, act, as they are active participants in this ecosystem, they interact uh, with and influence the projected realities of others, creating a complex web of interconnected experiences. This interplay between organisms and their realities can be likened to a game where strategies and interactions shape the dynamics of the ecosystem. Game theory, a branch of mathematics and economics, provides a framework to understand this intricate ecosystem of projected realities. It offers insights into the strategies, motivations, and outcomes of the interactions within the system. By applying game theory principles, we can gain a deeper understanding of how organisms navigate and adapt within their projected realities and how their actions impact the overall ecosystem. Uh, this idea of a formless and boundless source as the underlying foundation of all projected realities is a recurring theme in many philosophical, spiritual, and scientific 
discussions. While the exact nature of this underlying foundation is a subject of philosophical and scientific inquiry, many spiritual and philosophical traditions propose that it is a universal and interconnected essence that permeates all living beings. It is the animating force that allows us to perceive, interact, and navigate the world around us. So then I asked another question as a follow-up. In what ways does this formless foundation exist beyond the limitations of space-time and physical form? Answer. The formless foundation is believed to exist beyond the limitations of space-time and physical form in many, in several ways. Number one, non-locality. The formless foundation is considered to be non-local, meaning it transcends specific locations or boundaries. It is not confined to a particular point in space, but is thought to permeate the entire universe. This non-local nature suggests that it is not limited by physical distance or spatial constraints. I, num that's number one. Number two, the formless foundation is often regarded as timeless existing beyond the constraints of linear time. It is not bound by past, present or future, but rather encompasses all moments simultaneously. This suggests that it is not subject to the limitations of time as experienced in our day-to-day -day lives. Number three, non-physicality. The formless, this, this formless foundation is believed to be non-physical, meaning it does not have a physical form or substance. It is not composed of matter or energy as we understand them in the material world. This non-physical nature allows it to transcend the limitations of physical form and interact with the world in a non-material way. Next point, in the context of this formless foundation, non-locality relates to the idea that it exists beyond the limitations of space and is not confined to a specific location. The concept of non-locality is re in relation to the formless foundation highlights its interconnected nature and suggests that it is that it operates beyond the constraints of um, space-time and causality. It implies a deeper level of connection and unity that extends beyond the limitations of space and time, allows for a broader understanding of fundamental existence. So this is how the art of the prompt can help you clarify your own thinking, can help you articulate it, and can also help you see the other arguments and counter arguments that have been presented to your theories. So that's how AI can elevate spiritual intelligence and also personal well-being, which is another story that I will keep sharing with you. Let me know if this was helpful.